But then he's got to take a knockout first, and that's not good. Oh no, he's got town map. Wow. Okay. He's got super scoop up as well. Wow, this dude is playing a lot of um, random cards here. Not bad cards, but random cards. Level ball? Two level ball. How the hell does he fill all of this stuff in? He's getting another dark ride because he's going to retreat to that one and put the energy on it, so it's effectively just ruining my last turn in a sense. Although I did put 120 down, so it's not completely ruining, but... As you can see though, it's not an easy matchup to play, especially when you're not drawing what you really want to. I mean, ideally, I would I would love to try and get an Aerodactyl out here, but... Yep, comes a fresh Darkrai, that's gonna hit me for 70. I can still live two hits from that, so I'm okay with that. He's only got one card in hand, so unless that's a, like a Juniper or something for next turn, I should be okay. Interesting way he's switching his energy around, though. That's leaving it a little bit open for me to catch or kill that Hydreigon. There's Twist Mountain, so we can't put that down. Now the dude is probably going, what the fuck, you're playing Twist Mountain? <laughs> right, okay, I have 4 in the gel at the moment. He's effectively got 2, that is 120. Energy switch would make it 140, that would make it 160. Let's go for it. This is probably about the best shot I have right now, so we're, we're crazy enough, let's do it. Put that down, Juniper for 7. I do have an Aerodactyl. Am I gonna pull this off? Oh, it's a heads! Oh, this is beautiful! Aerodactyl comes out. I think that makes it 180. I think that makes it 180. It makes it 180, yes! We just won the hit KO'd. A freaking Dark Ride with a Mewtwo. That is awesome! <laughs> Hells yeah! Alright, okay, now we're in business here. Because I can Pecom out next turn, I can get another Mewtwo on the board. Not a Mewtwo even, never try and get another Aerodactyl, and then I will be one shot in this things. 